you say that um, it's important to educate other people, connect with people with mm -hmm. dwarfism? It is. We uh, are members of our organization, Little People of America, um, which is, you know, no, it's worldwide, but then it's broke down into districts and then further into chapters. And, um, you know, obviously with our busy schedule, mm -hmm. it's hard sometimes to get to our meetings. Um, but it's very, very important, especially with the kids, um, to be around other little people and to be a support system for, you know, we have just, we have more average size people in our organization than we do little people uh, because the parents. So being able to, you know, help them out as well as, you know, we all get um, the support too, just being around people of our own kind, to be honest. I mean, right. we relate. There is, right. even if we've never met you a day in our life, we instantly you get it. relate. Right. Yeah. And there's, you know, every now and then when we go to our national conference, which uh -huh. is always uh, in the summertime, it's great to go somewhere where everything is brought down to our world. Right. I mean, it's, it's, we live in an advertised world all year long, so when we can walk out on the dance floor and there's five or 600 of our friends out there dancing and you're four foot tall and you can look all the oh, way across the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> amazing. Is it like crazy partying too? Oh, crazy oh, it's like partying. Nuts, yeah. Crazy yeah. partying. And you guys all go, all the kids yeah. go? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. cool. And you got a new house. But you can't. You maintained it as an average, per, as average person mm -hmm. level. Everything. You didn't modify it. Everything's counters. Standard high. Everything. Why is oh, that? Yeah. So in all of our homes, Trent and I, uh, I guess a lot of it has to do with how we were raised. Uh, but we have never modified. Uh, we feel that it's important to raise the kids um, in a home that they can learn how to adapt. So when they go out to their friends or out in public, right. they know how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, because obviously, you know, we want our kids to be in mainstream society. Um, and this just gives them opportunity as we were raising them to, uh, to learn, you know, how to work in a bathroom that the counter is, you know, of average height. Right. Um, <laughs> and then also, you know, a lot of our family members and our friends are all average. So when they come over, you know, it's, I mean, we know how to make do with it, so we want people to feel comfortable in our home as well. Definitely. It's dwarf training in progress. Mm -hmm. I mean, life, you know, life training. And um, now I'm not saying later on in life when Amber and I get older and, you know, we don't want to hike up on stools anymore and reach yeah. across tall, we may modify the counter for us, which uh -huh. is just going to accommodate our living easier as we get right. older. I'm so, tell you, this getting yeah. old thing, it's, <laughs> it's hard. It's fun, right? It's I tell people, <laughs> you know, we do almost twice as much as what everybody does in a day because we walk twice as far, we, we, we take more steps, right. we, we have to climb more, step up higher, um, struggle to reach farther, so it's tough after a while. And, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not a woe me, that's a I can do it. Yeah, I got this, yeah, definitely. What are, if you don't mind me asking, um, what are some of the challenges that you face with raising teenagers that have dwarfism? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I got teenagers. an old boy. Yeah. Teenagers. Um, so, you know, raising teenagers in general is the tricky. hardest job on this planet. Right. I think if, if, you know, God had given everybody a teenager first, this world would be <laughs> very much different. smaller. Right. Yeah. But I think some of the biggest challenges with raising dwarf teenagers, uh, you know, obviously, um, dating and relationships and all that good stuff um, sometimes is a little challenging um, but overall you know social media is is tough yeah. It's oh really yeah tough. it can be brutal it and so raising a, a child zone. nowadays yeah. is, is is hard because it's not just about you know teaching them the the do's and don'ts and the rights and wrongs of just everyday life it's all about that phone yeah. right so what Absolutely. challenges have you guys faced regarding that regarding social media um, I speak for myself, but um, I haven't really had any challenges particularly. Um, I think it's different uh, being that I'm a guy. We don't really consider the, the drama to play an effect with uh, any friendship that maintains between us. Um, um, I, I can tell growing up with uh, these two that they've been through uh, <laughs> quite a bit of drama. And it's, it's no fun for everybody when one's, uh, you know, upset. Right. So. And we have had some uh, parenting challenges with social media. You know, we're not perfect, so well, 
I'd be throwing that phone in the garbage in two seconds. I mean, I don't know how, because I have, t I have, you have, I have two youngsters, and that, when yeah. they get to teenage, I mean, you're like, you're not allowed to have a phone. You're, going, you're playing Nintendo. You're not but even you playing know, Xbox. It's tough, though, because the old school Nintendo. Cool. You like old Nintendo? School. Yes. Yeah. Old school Nintendo? No. Get out of here. Is that really? making a comeback, too? Alex, yeah. Are kids flossing and playing Nintendo now? <laughs> I guess. Oh, my God. Well,